everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 12, and this is war number 7. And we're going up against an alliance called Relax. Now, we fought them before. I don't remember what the outcome was, but I know they're pretty good fighters. All right, so you can see the team that I decided to go in here with. AQ is down right now, so I'm able to bring in Corvus. I'm always going to bring Gladiator Hulk for that path 1 in section 1. But I normally bring my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and I kind of wish I had done that for this one as well. Uh, but I didn't. Uh, I did bring Corvus. Now, you see they did not place a defender on that first node. That's common. This next fight here, Killmonger is annoying at best, okay? I do not like fighting Killmonger. But, so far, I have not met anyone that my Gladiator Hulk cannot handle. Killmonger just takes a little bit of care in fighting, all right? He's awakened. So I'm going to have to deal with that reverberation, but with my face me active, it's not going to be too much of a problem. All right. So I just need to try to avoid getting hit by a special one. I seem to try to evade it and I often get clipped by it. And I need to remember not to evade back too quickly or too late and get caught by that special too. So what you saw there, that's how I want to play this fight. All right. So, we're just slow playing it, all right? Hit him, you know, once or twice here. He's got his special two, so now I want to bait that special two out, all right? There we go. You notice I didn't evade. I just waited until he uh, committed, and then I evaded out of it, okay? That is the safe way to do it. Sometimes I have to fight my muscle memory, though, all right? Now, the reason that didn't do any damage, I wasn't thinking, but he had his invulnerability charges up i should have hit him a few times uh, he gets three of them after the special two and i should have hit him three times got it down then fired my special three off so that was a waste of a special three so i was a little off but you know we're still in good shape here right so we're just going in and i'm looking up and i'm like all right i got this and then that happened and i'm just like i am so glad i have face me active because i would have got wrecked right there so now I'm like, okay, what's going on? Uh, I wasn't aware. There he goes again. He went unstoppable again. I'm like, okay, I don't quite get why he's going unstoppable. But it's all good. I'm still in good shape. I would have gotten wrecked hard if it wasn't for Face Me. That is why I always bring Gladiator Hulk. Very forgiving of mistakes. All right. So that was that fight. It could have ended much, much worse. So, of course, I don't fight this first uh, little mini node here unless I bring Havoc. If I had brought Havoc, I would have taken that boss. But I didn't, so I let others go ahead and clear that out. Now, we're ready for Section 2. Now, in Section 2, they placed Defenders. That's a little bit more difficult, so they're not about to just, you know, let you get a free uh, node here. So first up, we've got Morningstar. Now, Morningstar, when she's awakened, has a chance to bleed you when you hit her. But I have Corvus. So Corvus, while he's not bleed immune, he's actually better. He will heal up from that bleed because he doesn't take bleed damage but he does take uh, or get the bleed debuff. And if you are running willpower, which I recommend everybody run at least one point in, uh, it will trigger and you'll heal. So look at my healing. I'm taking 89 damage, but I'm healing up 148. Okay, so that is just one of the reasons I love Corvus. All right, so she's not gonna be a problem. Boom, down she goes. Now, I boosted up, not because I was so worried about this fight, but I just wanted to make sure that I could clear my lane without any deaths. And I'm not using boosts anywhere else, so I may as well use them here in war. All right, so next up is Quake. Now, the thing about Quake, she is not difficult to fight, but she can catch you. She can catch you good. 
and uh, don't forget the defense tactics as well. All right, so what you're going to see me doing here is kind of how you want to play Corvus anyway to get max uh, damage, or mostly max damage, uh, is medium, light, medium. All right, if it was a long fight, you would do uh, medium, light, medium, light. All right, but as you saw, she went down real quick, real easy. Uh, you don't want to do a lot of five hit combos. She can evade out of those um, with the defense tactics, if I remember correctly. All right, so we took her down nice, slow, easy. Now we're facing Captain Marvel. So I'm looking here and I'm like, okay, we've got Buffet. All right, we got the best defense. Okay. So this could be a little challenging. I look down there and yep, she is size small. So defense tactics kicks in, gives her a chance to evade. But that just means that we're going to have to play her very similarly to how we played Quake. So you'll see here, you know, she fired off that heavy in the beginning. And you'll notice I just hit once, and I'm trying to hit her only when she's stunned. See, I'm not even doing three hits. You know, before I was doing medium, light, medium. Now you see I'm just doing a uh, medium, light. Because I saw that I couldn't get three in before that stun timer was out. Okay? So I was playing it close. You see here? I'm just blocking. I'm not even trying to evade. I'm just doing it very, very, very carefully. And that, I could have waited, and I wouldn't have taken the recoil damage. All right, you see there? She got that evade. Could have wrecked me, but I was already blocking. Down she went. So, not too bad of a fight there. Uh, I was a little nervous about that fight, but I was able to emerge victorious. Now, this next fight, I was extremely nervous about this one, all right? So you can see here, I'm looking at it. Now, let me tell you what is happening. You see that my teammate here moved ahead. We're talking, and neither one of us wants to take this Namor right now because it's early in the morning, okay? Very, very early in the morning. And I'm tired, he's tired. And we were like, well, who do we have that's a good option? I'm like, well, really, the only one that I have that I would fight him with is Corvus, all right? And he was like, okay, you know, he has his Red Hulk. And so we're like, okay, so what are we going to do? Um, we were going to wait until the next morning, all right? So now it's the next morning. Uh, he wasn't available. He was working. And one of my other teammates uh, was boosted, and they needed energy to get to a mini boss on the right-hand side. So they were asking for help. So I'm just like, well, I can't move. This Namor's in the way. Well, let's just get him, okay? So even though it's a special, you know, one lock, so I'm not going to be able to hit my special two, I was like, let me just boost up a little bit. You can see I have the boosts. You know, I was capped out on them. And I'm thinking here, which one do I want? And I was like, all right, I only have two invulnerability boosts. Invulnerability boosts have not been in the store for a long time. I'm down to one now. And so I'm like, okay, I've got three times to eat some attacks. So I have a, a goal here. Uh, because I don't have my special two, I'm just going to try and go all out. You know, do as much damage as possible. Uh, I know I'm going to run out of glaive charges. But the invulnerability boost is going to allow me to eat specials if I play it right. And that attack boost should help me do some damage anyway. Even, you know, with my suicides, I should be doing some respectable damage. So you saw there, I intentionally pushed him to a special three. And I knew that I have three times that I could do that. But you can see his health. He's not going to survive. He will not be surviving uh, for another special three. All right. So I'm just like, all right, great. You know, there, one indestructible charge went down. All right, there he goes. He's attacking, and I'm going in. I'm trying to play it very carefully here. Uh, I don't have any Glaive Charges left right now. So I'm taking bleed damage. I'm taking all that damage because my Glaive Charges are out. My invulnerability only is in effect when I have Glaive Charges. And right there, I thought that special one was going to finish him. 
But no, it took him to 1%. But that's all right. He regened a little bit, but we took him down. All right, so that's the last fight that I participated in in this war. But as you'll see, I was able to get my teammate over to the mini because one of my other teammates already uh, used his energy to get to Thing. But I used my energy, got him to the stealth Spidey. We got those guys down. So now we just need to find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And as you can see, we were able to pull out the victory. So that's going to do it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.